Alright guys, welcome back for another Street Fighter Duel video and today we are going to start doing character breakdowns. We're going to start looking at why characters are so good, why you maybe should hope to get one of these characters. I'm not going to say aim to get one of them because it's a gacha game, it can be quite difficult to pick up specific characters. But if you happen to luck in and get these characters then along the way you'll know exactly how to get the best usage out of them. So we're going to start off with a hype beast that is the man that you see on screen right now and that is going to be the unkillable bison. Okay. Now the reason I put that in air quotes is because in a lot of ways while bison is absolutely fantastic and he may arguably be the best unit in the game at the moment, um, he's not unkillable right? Let's just say that. There's strategies to deal with this guy, okay? However, let's go and look at why he is so damn good and why he gives people so much trouble, okay? So while I said he's not unkillable, he's pretty hard to kill and he can cause you a lot of problems, okay? Now, the main reason for that is because of his passive more than anything else, okay? So you can see here, upon entering the battle, deal soul damage equal to 144% of attack to all enemies. This does not require unlocking passive skills. Before M. Bison takes fatal damage, if any ally survives, M. Bison becomes immune to damage for 3 seconds, restores 40% of his max HP, and unleashes Return of the Inferno, dealing soul damage equal to 265% of attack to all enemies. After... Unleashing Return of the Inferno for the first time, M. Bison enters the Infernal King status which lasts until the end of the battle. So quick summary, you've, you've probably fought him by now and you'll know what happens. You kill Bison, Bison basically goes up in the air, he goes and he does a big explosion. It, it hurts lots of people, sometimes it can kill people. And the reason why Bison is so difficult to deal with is because a lot of the times Bison will end up at the front of your setup. I mean that's just a lot of times naturally where he will end up so he's going to take a lot of that damage which basically limits you from getting to the people behind them okay so obviously you can kind of summarize right away how you get around bison which is you use characters who attack the back line who attack beyond that first character however sometimes that's easier said than done because this guy is dishing out a lot of damage and as you get him stronger, as you gain more levels and stuff, these powers just get more and more extreme and he can do a lot of stuff. So I've got him up to level 3 just now and you can see that he will unleash Return of the Inferno when the allied fighter unleashes a combo 3 for the second time. It says it also do it for the first time as well. I don't know if that stacks. I think it stacks, I'm not sure, but... It also adds potentially statuses, which you can see at the bottom. When you get them up a little bit higher, I'll get this at my next unlock for them, which is it'll apply weaken. Decreases attack by 5% for 15 seconds, stacks up to 10 times. Um, affected by effect accuracy and effect resist. And Infernal King, which we spoke about already, increases damage by 30%, but you cannot receive healing from others. Now what I can say, right, healing from others, this doesn't apply to EX skills because I've visibly witnessed Bison myself being healed from EX skills. So Infernal King, it is literally healing from others. So if you've got healing EX skills, he will still get healed, okay? Um, which is just going to keep you ticking over. It's going to keep you in the fight even longer, okay? So let's look at the rest of his kit. But that is that that there is probably why he's kind of referred to as the unkillable bison because in a lot of ways he is very hard to kill right unless you've got specific setups to take on the back line kill the back line first you're going to find that unless you've got a lot of hp a lot of defense a lot of defense uh, attack resistance and things like that and um, you're going to take a lot of hits from bison while you slowly kill the people behind them and if you've just not got the stuff to deal with that then you'll probably die before you can get to the point that you can kill him right so that's where it can kind of become a little bit difficult so let's look at his super um i hope you all know by now this one is essentially his starting attack okay and for some characters it's pretty good to use them for the starting attack because it's the best way to maximize their kit so to speak some characters it doesn't matter as much but certain other characters you want to kind of start with them on the field okay 
So we've got Ultimate Nightmare. Super combo can be unleashed once the super combo gauge is full. Spin kicks the nearest a, a, a target two times causing damage equal to 263% of attack. This is followed by a ground pound which generates an enemy beam. Heavy hitting multiple attacks for soul damage equal to 153% of attack. The energy beam has 100% base chance to inflict one times weaken on the enemy. So we were talking before about weaken which you can get through your passive as well. If you start with this guy you have got a chance to get weaken right out of the gate. Okay, So this is what I'm saying, certain characters it makes sense to start with them first of all because depending on what you're facing, getting their key skill like weaken for example out straight away could make the difference between you clearing the battle and not clearing the battle. This is where you can tie back into that video I made the other day talking about like combo switching and things like that because sometimes literally just starting with a different character in slot 1 can make a big difference if you're going to clear that stage or not, okay? So you can see this kind of levels up, this is already maxed for me. Um, increases spin kick damage to 288% of attack and energy beam damage to 168% of attack. The first two hits have a 25% base chance to inflict one times weaken on the target. And finally level 3, while Infernal King is active, the skill deals an additional 0.5% damage for every 1% of missing HP. So basically, if he's at the point where he's been killed and he stops himself dying, he does that big attack, it deals massive damage because he has got that on his kit now. Um, now obviously we looked at Weaken already, but you can see there again, it's going to boost his attack even more and he can stack it up to 10 times. So you can make huge inroads if you have got Bison and if you have got him, you want to try and level him, okay? Um, now if you look at his other combo, so combo one, when this skill is in position 1, the combo chain will be activated after a teammate unleashes a super combo, holds the nearest target in the air and strikes 3 times, dealing damage equal to 398% of attack. It also converts 20% of skill damage into M. Bison's HP, so HP recovery if you want to put that in your slot 1 skill there. So again, I'd say it's key to use that in kind of battles where you know that if you just had a little bit more time to unleash another combo chain you would probably get through the battle things like that can kind of help you push a little bit forward and you can see there that obviously gets boosted as you level so 438 percent of attack and 30 percent of the attack goes to skill that wait a minute yeah yeah yeah, yeah. okay 30 percent instead of 20 percent it's 30 percent level three infernal king gets activated again um sorry Infernal King, when it's active, ignores the damage, the targets dodge, parry and shields. So I'd say for certain tanks that you come up against that are always shielded up and you know that they're the thing that's really holding you back, that is when you again, you want to go in, you want to switch up your combo chain. You wouldn't have Bison starting this time because obviously you should know by now if the character starts, they can't go from starting into combo 1, they can only go combo 2 or 3. So in that situation you would start with a different character and then you would have Bison triggering their combo 1. Again guys, this is why you should experiment with combo switching if you do happen to get stuck at certain places. His final one, um, I don't think this one's maxed for me. Not as maxed for me, nice. Um, so this one is charges soul energy and penetrates multiple targets in a spiral, striking each target three times and dealing 106% soul damage. Each strike absorbs 1% of M. Bison's attack from the target. Each target's attack can be absorbed up to 15 times and M. Bison may receive up to 45 stacks of this bonus. I like that skill. I use that skill quite a lot. Okay. Um, level 2. The skill can't be interrupted, which can be very, very clutch in some situations. In level 3, while you've got Infernal King active, the, act, the skill deals 110% true soul damage to the enemy's rear position, with a 30% base chance to inflict a delusion. Okay? Now, delusion, the target takes true damage equal to 30% of attack. It removes the weaken effect from the enemy target and inflicts stun instead okay the duration of stun scales with the number of weakened stacks that have been removed okay so you see there that is kind of what he does i mean if you click this a couple of times you'll see so that's his that's his spinny kick attack that's his hold him in the air attack so first one was his level one that's his level two and this is his level three that's the one that you know i think does the best for me anyway if, if we can be completely honest so overall bison is a beast right 
there's no denying that Bison is an absolute beast and I mean he's in my opinion hands down the best attacking character in the game at the moment right now bear in mind we're still pretty early on so you would expect things like that to potentially change however his sort of a I'm going to call it revival mechanic right that makes him stand head and shoulders above a lot of people right now and it's probably why people are struggling so much to deal with him in situations like pvp and stages i mean some stages you come up against where this guy is on the team and he's just a nightmare he's an absolute nightmare but again you can counter that there's characters like guy who will ignore the character at the front and they'll go for characters behind them and things like that and um, you can get around them with that however if you get lucky enough to pull Bison, then definitely invest in him. If you complete the, the chain to unlock the chest where you can select one of the characters, um, I would select Bison first. I'm going to be talking about another character tomorrow who's in that chest, who starting out might not actually seem amazing, but as they grow, they get even better. Now the thing about growth in this game is that it does actually make a big difference and with Bison for example, when you unlock his fighting spirit, now this is a, a while away, right? Let me just be clear, this is a while away for a lot of people because you do need to raise them to SS before you can get them, right? But fighting spirits really do boost characters as well. So you can see here, once you've got that leveled, apart from having all these boosts to your stats, it will improve your kind of abilities as well. So you can see here, Infernal Beast, starting from the second use, each return of the Infernal will further increase the damage of, a, of Infernal King by another 15%, up to 75%. So that's boosting that already powerful attack even more. Then you've got these things here that are pretty good where when characters are in the assist slot so sitting along the top rather than just giving a bonus to like hp and attack or defense whatever they'll actually give more active base boosts that will do a lot more right so you can see here unlocked a plus five um where is it b -b 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 when a character takes fatal damage, they're healed back to 30% of max HP, they gain Infernal King until death, this effect grants 15% increased damage, but prevents healing from others, again depending on what you're doing, depending on who you're fighting, that can make a massive difference to how you're going to progress, okay, the character I'm going to talk about tomorrow actually becomes amazing at that point, which for some people might make it a bit difficult to say, oh, is, is she actually that good then? Um, but honestly, we'll talk about that tomorrow, right? We'll talk about that tomorrow. But anyway, that's Bison. Um, if you get Bison, you want to invest in Bison, you want to kind of save your silver tokens for in here, you want to save your gold tokens, you get this guy leveled up, you want to boost his um, fighting spirit as much as possible, and this guy will absolutely clutch out fights for you, 100%, he will totally dominate, um, but there is ways to beat him, and we will talk about that in more detail in another video. This isn't about beating the characters, this is about hating the characters and talking about how good they are. So, that is the unkillable bison, who isn't actually unkillable, but he's pretty damn hard to kill. I've been Heezing, thanks for watching, and I'll be back with another video very, very shortly. Anyway guys, thanks for watching, see you in the next one, remember to subscribe, bye.